Please, you don't have to do this. Ah, don't do this. Please, there's another... What? Not so chatty anymore. Starscream? What do you guys want? Now, is this any way to treat an old friend? Not a hello! How have you been? Look, look, guys. You guys have won. I'm just trying to hide out, alright? There's no need. You know, Jetfire, if you don't mind, I would really love to tell you a story. It was very early on in the war, and there was this young Autobot standing right outside the base, protesting. You Decepticons are evil, and good will always triumph. I remember a few of the other Seekers found the bot rather amusing. I will be honest, even I got a little bit of a chuckle out of seeing this bot. He was just so young, you know. I'm not even entirely convinced he fully understood what we were fighting for. But all I could think about while I was watching this young Autobot is what a tragedy it was to watch how blind loyalty could corrupt a young mind so early on. So I shot him, right there in the street. And you want to know how our mighty leader reacted? He beat me. But he is no longer in charge. I am. And you see, Jetfire, it does not matter if you are a child or a former seeker. If you are an Autobot, I will kill you. Unless... That is, if you can help me out with a little something. You see, Megatron had a chance to take out your leader, but he let him go, and we need to find him. So, if you could point us in the right direction, we'll be on our way. Do you hear yourself, Starscream? You talk about blind loyalty, but you don't even see how this cause has blinded you. I don't know where he is. I'm done with this fight. Okay. Bawip Grana, Weep Ninibong. Bawip Grana, Weep Ninibong. Cut the holograms. Cup? Primus. Never thought I'd be so happy to see you, Magnus. Sir, we're going to have to find the Energon source soon. I only got so many holograms in me. Yeah, Magnus. How much longer until we get there, you think? You guys are heading to an Energon source? I'm sorry. I don't believe we've met. What's your name, soldier? Bumblebee. Well, Bumblebee, yes. We're making our way to Optimus' location, but we're detecting an Energon source just up the road here. Magnus, with all due respect, we got our asses handed to us. Right now we should be focusing on survival. 
Optimus has a plan, Cup. A plan that will turn the tides of the war. This is our main priority. Survival should be our main priority. Enough, Cup. Now I'm addressing you as your commander. This is the mission, and you can either come along or you can leave, soldier. All right, let's roll out, men. So, Bumblebee, right? You're a young guy, ain't you? Yeah. I just barely made the cutoff. I was drafted when the Autobots were really desperate. <laughs> no shit, huh? Yeah, at a certain point, this became everyone's fight. Did you do anything before the war? Uh, I worked in the Energon mines. I was a scout. Was small enough to get into the tighter spots other bots couldn't. An Energon scout, you say? Hey, Alan. Wasn't, a uh, Sideswipe also an Energon scout? No, you're thinking of Wheelie. Ah, <sighs> right. Hey, Magnus. What a big guy like you do before the war now anyways? What does it matter, Jazz? Why do you talk so much? Ah, forget it. Pound, how much further from the Energon sorts are we? Shouldn't be too much further. I'm picking up what looks like a city just beyond these trees over here. Sweet Primus. Jazz, can you see anything? Magnus, this is suicide. How? Is the Energon source still located in there? Yes, sir. Magnus. Cup, this is the only path we have. We have a mission. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Hop on. <laughs> About 1.6 clicks out, sir. Something's not right. Sir, I'm not sure you got much roll left ahead of you. What? What do you mean? I mean there ain't much roll left. What the hell do you think I mean? Let me see. Everybody off. Jack, come get a closer look. Got about ten to subject on, sir. Shock. We should fall back and come up with a strategy. Shit. Decepticons! Attack! Get down! Decepticons! Hunt those Autobots down! Starscream! I have located Ultra Magnus! Autobots! Take cover! Get up! Oh god! This is no place to die! 
Ugh. Wow, Jazz, I didn't realize how soft you were. This ain't that bad. <sighs> you know how I'm, I fully should have left your ass back in town. Yeah, well, you didn't. Now you're stuck with me, big guy. May I? Well, luckily for you, it doesn't look like you've received any substantial injuries. I could probably patch you up myself pretty good. I thought you was an Energon Scout. Eh, that was just a side hustle. I was studying to become a medic right before the war. Almost got my license, too. What happened? Eh, the school was blown up during a secret air raid. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not funny. You're leading these bots to their deaths. You know that, right? I understand, Cup. Really, I do. But right now, we just have to focus on the mission. Magnus, do you hear yourself? You're putting the mission above the lives of these bots. We lost. Why can't you just accept that? This planet is filled with rich energon. I can't believe you let them get away. What are you doing mining energon for anyways? We have a mission to carry out. Do you realize what killing Ultra Magnus would have done? The second in command of the Autobots. Do you know what kind of message that would send to the rest of these filthy vermin? Your hatred blinds you. Cybertron is depleted of Energon. To ignore this planet's resources would be foolish. Both sides are desperate. We need this Energon. And if you ask me, so do they. They'll be back. system passes right through the energon source. If we're quiet enough, we can sneak in, steal the energon, and be out before anyone even notices. Even if we could sneak in there without being spotted, that system is barely large enough to fit a dweller, let alone an Autobot. Who'd you expect to fit down there? B. B small enough. He'll be able to fit down there. Absolutely not. He's just a kid. Um, I'll do it. Kid, you don't have to do this. No, no. I do need to. I mean, the... Yeah, the amount of bots I could have saved, I just... I, I, I just... I just want to do one thing right. Thank you, Bean. Be safe out there, kid. I will be. Cup. Let me talk to him. Okay, okay, you could do this, you could do this, all right? 
You can do this. You got this, Pete. You got this. Come on. Come on. Kids knocked out. Huh? Oh, yeah. Jazz has never had a problem sleeping. <laughs> we could literally be under heavy firebombs hitting everywhere. That guy would be out like a light. Makes no sense to me. You two got back a while, huh? Yeah. Guess you could say that. We were in basic together. Our unit was the first to deploy at the start of the war, Kaon. That was a drop off point. <laughs> What a shit show that was. We were under heavy fire, and a landmine knocked me unconscious. Jazz pulled me to safety. When I finally came to, I was on a troop transport back to base. Me and Jazz were the only ones who made it out of there. You know, kid, back in the first Civil War, a similar thing happened to me. My transport ship was gunned down, and we were under heavy fire. I'd never been into combat prior to this, but I'm just shooting left and right. Not even paying attention to where I'm shooting. One of them ended up getting me pretty good and I blacked out from the shock. When I woke up, my buddy Hot Rod and I were in a POW camp. On our last night there, Hot Rod found out he was being taken in for questioning the next day. But questioning was just their excuse to torture us. We'd been there for so long. So long. Hot Rod didn't want to deal with it anymore. He begged me to put him out of his misery. So I took a pipe and I... I... Anyways, the next day there was a raid on the POW camp and we were rescued and brought to the nearest out of our base. Not long after that, I was back on the front line. This war has accomplished nothing. And right now, all I want to do is go home and rest. I'll be damned. He did it. Magnus. B is back! I got it!
Fall back! Jazz! Get to the roof! We need cover! So you soon. Primus Cup. Cup is bad? Am I gonna die? You're not gonna die, kid. Now hold still. Sending ducks here. We gotta do something. We're under too much fire. We're gonna need an extraction. Shockwave's gonna bring this whole goddamn building down. Come on, I don't wanna die. Come on, I don't wanna die. Please, please. <laughs> I don't want to die, I don't want to die. <laughs> hey, you're gonna be alright, kid, don't worry. Magnus, I can't operate here. You gotta move! I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll stay and create a distraction. I got just enough energon in me for maybe one more hologram. I'll create a distraction, give you guys just enough time to get out. Hell no! Jazz, don't have time to argue. If we stay, we're all dead. B needs to get out of here. Sir, please. You're a good soldier, Hound. See you around, friend. Try not to cause too much trouble. I'll see you on the other side, kid. Fixed up, we're gonna get back to Cybertron, and you're gonna finish your studies and become a medic. Now, how's that sound, huh? Kid? Kid?
don't understand. This was Prime's location. He, he should be here. Uh, Magnus? What exactly is Prime looking for anyways? Optimus is looking for the Matrix. He believes that if he finds it, we can repower Sarvatron and end the war. The Matrix? The Matrix was destroyed eons ago! Optimus says that the Matrix was never destroyed. He believes it was taken off-world by the remaining Primes following the first Cybertronian Civil War. And you believed him? Do you know how many innocent men had to die because of your blind faith in Prime? Hound and Bee's deaths are on your hands. You're right. This is all my fault. Uh... Guys... The sickening command of the Autobots. I've been looking forward to this. You know, Magnus, I had a feeling you would come find Optimus. I would be honest. We had intercepted his coordinates as well, but when we arrived here, nothing. So I figured that if any bot would be able to find Prime, it would be his loyal right-hand man. And here you are! Now, not only will I be able to kill you, I'll be able to kill Optimus Prime as well. Something Megatron would never be able to bring himself to do. Now, where is he? Oh, come on, Magnus. Look at where you're standing. Give up. It's over. Why resist? Very well. I have other methods of making you talk. You're a coward, Starscream. Excuse me? I said you're a coward. You talk all this game about being better than Megatron, the leader he could never be. But all you do is order around your troops to do your dirty work. At least Megatron would do things himself. You want to kill me so badly? Do it yourself. I see you're doing well. Decepticons, attack! What are you all waiting for? Don't just stand there, do something! They're waiting to see what happens, Starscream. Seekers, murder this traitor! Fine, I'll do it myself.
get me to a medic. Uh, Magnus? Didn't you say Optimus was looking for the Matrix? 